Game six in Boston. Carmelo in the Knicks looking to close out the Celtics. Paul Pierce, 35 years young. And Kevin Garnett will be 37 later this month trying to power the Celtics past the Knicks and force a game seven on Sunday. Here we go and thud. Paul Pierce, one of ten in the first half. Yeah, that's just not going to get it done. You're talking about a professional score, one of the greatest Celtics of all time. But, you know, he just did not have it consistency enough in this series. Raymond Felton to uh, Tyson Chandler, 13-4, to four, New York, midway through the first. And then Pablo Prigioni takes it. He's going to pull up for three. Rick, he was huge in this game, 21-5 New York. Yeah, he was, and he wasn't alone because when you think about it, you know, they talked about the pressure of this game. They, did, they wanted to play pressure-free. Well, they sure showed up and got out the gates quick. Raymond Felton with the bucket. Here's Jason Kidd feeding Carmelo Anthony. Knicks already up 13. They're up 15. Yeah, I mean, right now, the Knicks are just taking advantage of the Celtics' cold shooting, and they're getting out, but they're not playing that great themselves. But again, they're making timely shots, and they're starting to bury the Celtics early in this game. The story of the night was New York getting out in front and Boston fighting back. Jason Terry for three made it a 10-point game. Carmelo Anthony, 14 points in the first half. Get him to the line. Well, you talk about the luck of the Irish. And the Celtics, that was a nice uh, fortunate bounce for Carmelo. Knicks led 39-27 at halftime. Prigioni again, 15 points, made four threes. Yeah, I mean, they just look at the guys they have that can shoot the basketball. You look at the Celtics. They just don't have the, the firepower that the uh, New York Knicks have. Pierce to Garnett, timeout New York. It was an 11-point game, but the Knicks come back with a long two from Raymond Felton. It's back to 12, and... This guy was big as well. J.R. Smith to Iman Shumpert. If it wasn't a huge defensive play, Iman was knocking down three-pointers in this quarter to stretch the lead up to 20 right there. So we go to the fourth. Knicks looking to run away with this. Pablo Prigioni, uh-uh. Iman Shumpert, yes. And he gloats a little bit on the run. Well, everybody from Boston just standing around looking at the play, and no one puts a bite on Shumpert, and he gets in an easy tip down. That dunk by Shumper put the Knicks up by 26, and then the Celtics dug in and went on a 26-4 run. And that's the case in the Golden State-Denver Nugget game last night. You get too comfortable in this league, especially in the playoffs. Watch your back. Raymond Felt turns it over. Here comes Paul Pierce. Scooping up and in, plus the foul. Yeah, rare steal by the Boston Celtics. Raymond Felton was moving Paul Pierce can do a lot of things, but he can also finger roll. And right here, Avery Bradley, the steal, and he dunks. And it was down to four, but Carmelo Anthony comes back, puts the Knicks up six. Well, I think in the fourth quarter, this is more of what we thought this whole game would look like. And this is where Carmelo Anthony dug in and decided to take it over. And that is your dagger. The Knicks win their first playoff series since 2000. And Paul Pierce checking out of the game. And you see the crowd uh, bummed out, but still trying to let Paul hear it. And Kevin Garnett checking out for the final time this season as well. Getting some love from Doc Rivers on the way out. Yeah, those guys have given the Celtics everything they had. Unfortunately, they only was able to win one championship. They got one. But again, the future, what's going to happen with the Boston Celtics? Paul Pierce, Kevin Garnett, even though Garnett has two years left on his deal, is he going to want to come back and go through the rebuilding process? Paul Pierce, there's a buyout and an option on his deal. So... Celtics got some big decisions to make this offseason.